Right, I'm just doing a little video again on actually aiming and firing up this solar sterling engine. What we need to do is roughly speaking point it at the sun till that turns white hot and then we get to fire it up. Now there is the bottom of the sterling engine where you can see it's got two cranks because the displacer and power piston are actually in line in that tube there. Right, so let's get it mounted up and you can see me aiming it. Right. Basically, I'm just going to point the dish at the sun. That's roughly that way. Tip it over. See the light coming up here. And there it is on the end. It's very difficult to do justice to just how bright that is when it lights up the end. Yep, that's getting hot. And there it goes. Now you can see it running, just on the power of the sun. Where, as I say, it's very difficult to do justice to how bright the sunlight is on that little white bit now on the end. Just going to see if we can put my finger on it to slow it down. And it's currently about 4 degrees out here. So it doesn't care about the outside temperature as long as the end bit there is hot. Just to demonstrate how hot that piston gets, here's a damp cloth. See that? And you can hear it slowing down. Now, if I put on a dry piece of kitchen towel, see if it burns. No, it doesn't quite burn, but you get steam off it if you get it down. That is how hot it is. You don't want to touch that end while it's uh, in the sun because you'll get your fingers burnt. Right. Engine's been running for a few minutes now. You see that is just ridiculously bright, that white light there. If you look at it, it's like looking at the uh, Park on an arc welder. It really is that bright. You can see it's going very quickly now. So I just had to tack this onto the end of the video. You can see it keeps going even with a little bit of resistance. I don't know how much power I'm taking out of there, but it's still going. I let it go and it speeds right back up. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.